Hi all, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another crafting tutorial and today we're diving back down to the underhive with this Palanite Enforcers guard tower with searchlight. Cool little thing, now this I actually built uh, as a standalone piece but for me I'm going to attach this to my uh, big Palanite Enforcers uh, precinct fortress that I'm building which I hope to get done by the holidays, alright? So stay tuned if you want to see that, but for now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this. So without further ado, guys, I would say follow me to the crafting table, and let's do this! Come on! Alright, my friends, we're going back to Necromunda, diving down into the underhive again. And we're going to begin with foam board, and we're going to make a rectangle that is 6 centimeters wide and 16 centimeters high. Then draw a nice straight line like so, and we're going to need four of these rectangles, as you see here. Take a sharp blade and proceed by cutting out all four pieces. And that was my camera going down twice. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to cut them all out. Now, on each of the corners of the rectangles, both top and bottom, we're going to mark out one centimeter. That's what I'm doing here. And then we're going to connect these lines. And also, when that is done, we're going to mark out the halfway point, which is eight centimeters. We're going to draw a line, and from that line, we're going to measure half a centimeter to the left and half a centimeter to the right, and it should look like this now. Once we have done that, we're going to draw two lines connecting the inner corners, like so, top and bottom. And we're going to do that on all four pieces, of course. And from also from each of the sides, measure half a centimeter to the left and half a centimeter to the right. And excuse my nasal voice as I still have a bit of a cold. <coughs> excuse me. Now cut away the inner triangles. And that will leave us with four pieces looking like this with some nice crossbars in the middle. Now I'm going to cut a piece that is 6 centimeters wide and I'm going to cover it with mesh tape and I'm going to cut away one of the crossbars which will be an uh, entryway of my uh, first floor platform like this. Now I trace three pieces that are the same height as the halfway point of our tower. I'm going to cut them out as well. Also cut away the inner triangles. Now next I'm going to glue all this together adding two paper drinking straws at the side for the pipes. And as you see, I have a bit of an overhang, but I cut that away. Here I'm gluing the straws against the, the side piece. And I cut the drinking straws to the same height as my tower. And I know it was, went rather fast, but well, it's pretty straightforward. Now I have this piece of plastic mesh that I'm going to use for a top platform, which I hot glue on top. But you can use foam board or cardboard if you don't have this piece. Next, glue on two of the smaller pieces to the side, as you see here on the exact same spot as you can see me do right here. I cut two drinking straws, again 5 centimeters long, and I cut both ends at a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to use them as support beams to hold up the platform, as you see me do here. Like so. And I also take some more foam board, mark it out, and I cut it so it slides uh, nicely into those two side wall pieces. Now take the third piece, but don't glue it yet, just dry fit it. I measure another paper drinking straw, two actually, against the bamboo skewer, and I'm gonna mark out where the pointy end begins. And I'm snipping that away with the scissors, filling it with some white glue, and just shoving my bamboo skewer uh, through it, with the pointy end sticking out. Next, I glue the spiky pipes to the side of the third piece, and I'm going to glue this against the side wall. Like so. And your tower should look like this now. Now, 
Now I have these for my railings, but you can use cardboard or chicken wire as I've uh, shown in a previous video. Now for the searchlight, I'm using bottle caps, uh, EVA foam circle, a wooden spool and some plastic wires. Experiment and dry fit before gluing this. Uh, just find the shape that you like. It took me some time till I found something that I truly liked, but yeah, this will depend for whatever you have in your uh, bids box. Now I cut away the inner plastic parts of my milk bottle caps and I'm going to glow in the foam circle. Now, simply fiddling along with uh, all my pieces, trying to uh, figure out how I want my search bar to, uh, search light to look. I'm going to glue my railings on a coffee stirrer for better contact on the mesh platform. I cut off the excess parts and I'm going to glue this on the, the railing as you can see here. Just with hot glue. Now I start by gluing together my searchlight once I found the parts that I like. I'm using a, a variety of things here. And once that is done, I'm gluing that on a piece of foam board and I glue that on top of the platform. I also uh, take a thick paper drinking straw, which I, with hot glue, fill up with my uh, cable parts. And uh, I did lose a bit of footage, but uh, here's what I did. So, as you can see, um, I added a little step that leads up to the stairway. I added some ladders, which I cut from a tennis racket. I, on the center pieces of the crossbars, I glued some uh, wooden blocks. Added uh, two more paper drinking straws. These will also serve as a support beam. And here I uh, glued some uh, corrugated paper for a railing as well. This is the paper drinking straw that holds the, the cables of the searchlight. Now I'm gonna build some stairs. So check out my stairs video, episode five on my Necromunda project on how I did this. And uh, I trace my templates and on two pieces of foam board and then I take some plastic mesh to create the steps, but feel free to use cardboard. But uh, when you glue them together, glue the bottom first and then the top steps and continue moving forward as you see here. Then glue the stairs to the lower platform. Testing out the tower with the model a little bit. Now I'm gonna prime it all black, but then I decided to add more to the tower. <laughs> first I prime it black, gives a different look altogether. And here I took some cloth hangers, wash clips, whatever they are called, and took them apart to create some cool texture on the side of my tower and also at the top. Just stick them on with hot glue. I know I'm going really fast here, but spray it all black again. Now for painting, I start with stippling a brown paint all over my piece as I do with all my Necromunda builds. When that is done, I cover everything with a silver color as well. Stipple it all on. I am gonna break off my ladder, my ladder, uh, my stairs in a second, but I'll add that later. So, for this color scheme, I'm using this blue here as well because I use that in a lot of my builds. But feel free to use whatever you want, of course. Now I'm gonna paint the pipes with a black and a red. I paint the ladders red as well. The railing gets a yellow color. And I'm also going to begin by adding hazard stripes. Just paint them yellow and then go over that with a black paint as well. <coughs> Excuse me, I really got a bad cold. So I hope this uh, video is still okay for you guys to follow along. It's pretty straightforward build. Now I'm going to stipple brown paint all over and then cover that with some orange paint for the rust effects. Um, here is where I broke off the stairs but I attached that again with hot glue. Now for the light I paint it with red bone and then afterwards I cover it with white scar in the middle and a little bit on the railing as well to create some object uh, source lighting like so and we are done let's look at the finished piece guys so some stills with the the enforcers all grouped around it the bike that I've made it matches really well with the sitting 
And a quick view of my big board, one part of it, I will attach this tower to my board. So here is the, you can see the chain link fence with the barbed wire around it, the bunker. And this is where I will be adding my tower. A view from the back of it. See, I've added my, put placed my uh, custom tiles uh, next to it. Here you can see one part of the board. So I would like to thank you all very much for watching guys. I know this was a very quick video, uh, maybe not all that clear, but I hope you could follow along anyway. And uh, yeah, thank you all for your support. I really appreciate all of you guys and uh, still hard at work at building my big uh, Palanite Enforcers board. So I hope you stay tuned for that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all later. All right, guys, bye for now. Bye!